What's up everyone, it's Marco from PhoneDog.com and this is the brand new Motorola Moto G. This is the second generation to the Moto G. It's basically the second up on the best selling Moto product that was ever made by Motorola. So this is just a combination of an unboxing plus some first hands on I had at the Moto event last week. So let's get into the unboxing part of it first. The box itself looks exactly like the Moto G box we had last year, just a bit bigger to accommodate the bigger Moto G size. And inside you have the Motorola phone and you also have your literature, your all your manuals and all that stuff. Plus you do have the wall charger that's not a USB cable. You don't have a data connector cable. It's just basically a wall wart with a cable running to a micro USB charger. Then we can move on to the Moto G itself. Physically, it's a lot bigger from the old Moto G. The old Moto G was a 4.5 inch display. This guy has a full five inch display, but strangely enough, the resolution is still 1280 by 720. They dipped down the PPI to 294, but but it is an IPS LCD panel and it does have Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Specs wise, it's exactly the same as the last generation Moto G for quad core 400 processor rated at 1.2 gigahertz, the same Adreno 305 GPU and one gigabyte of RAM. I suppose the biggest downside of the whole brand new Moto G is the lack of LTE, but exactly the same as the first Moto G. There was no LTE, only HSPA+, so we're probably expecting an LTE Moto G coming out in about three to four months from now. But the biggest improvement by a mile of this brand new Moto G is definitely the build quality. It's definitely a more solid feeling device. Even though this white color might not do it justice, the black or even the different colors Moto G will be available in, it definitely does look great and it feels much better as well. It's even the same plastic, but just construction wise, it feels like a much more solid device. We've also upgraded the camera from a five megapixel up to an eight megapixel camera on the back and a brand new two megapixel front facing camera. And finally, we get to the most requested feature that the Moto G needed was a micro SD card slot on the back side. So finally, you can actually use micro SD card storage. Apart from the eight and 16 gigabyte configurations, you can add your own storage onto the brand new Moto G. So overall, I'm not exactly sure where I am about the brand new Moto G. I mean, in terms of size, it's a much bigger phone from the last generation Moto G, but it does feel a lot more solid in the hand than the old Moto G. So that might be just a great selling feature. And again, this phone's only gonna cost $179 off contract. So do we really need LTE and all these great features? I'm not exactly sure if it's only gonna cost you 180 bucks. It would be awfully nicer if we had LTE here in the States, but I'm guessing that will be coming very soon in a different model of the brand new Moto G. So make sure to leave any questions or comments below in the comment section. You can ask them directly to myself on Twitter to at phone dog underscore Marco. And as always, my name is Marco Hanna from phone dog.com. It's from the Moto G right here at phone dog.com. Stay tuned for the full review and much more coming on the Moto X, Moto G, and 360.